Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. Now let's have a look at some uh, some spectral systems that are interesting. <clears throat> We've got spectral with Krell preamp and what looks like Cyrus and, and some other stuff. Um, <clears throat> I want to say that spectral is the best ever transistor brand. There are some few other things that are relatively close like Negra and maybe a few others but you should never separate uh, the um, the monoblocks from from the preamp spectral has a very very neutral certain type of sound it's almost impossible finding a proper preamp that really uses everything from from the spectral i would rather give this spectral up <clears throat> and then find something like half good maybe even macintosh that, that is not nearly as good as spectral just to get the same type of sound cyrus is a horrible cheap very badly timed and mechanical plastic sound um that does not that shouldn't touch any spectral uh, gear ever these uh, wilson speakers are not nearly as good as, as the bigger wilson speakers and they're very hi-fi ish and, and bloated in sound and again they do a lot of stuff that that's good but it's, it's a very certain type of thing it does and the spectral also does a very certain type of thing but it does it at like 30 percent here and then you get the the wilson doing its own thing at maybe also 30 percent and then you've got like a a budget low grades um krell krell has a tendency of being <clears throat> especially with some of the older gear that that this is here um pretty harsh pretty raw pretty simple it just you know just if i had this system i would just sell everything and you know, it would actually sound better having an integrated Macintosh MA8000 or 9000 um, amplifier on, on, on these speakers, perhaps. Like, and then just have a super duper uh, streamer or a CD player or vinyl or whatever. Just keep it the same. Uh, it, it's a pity because there's a lot of potential here, but it just doesn't get used at all. And here to show huge room mit cables what looks like a power bar sets mit uh, bar finally a uh, spectral i think it's the spectral preamp yeah i think it's a spectral preamp with with the spectral uh cd player and and mono blocks one there and there that's how you do it okay rock port is a bit stiff and hi-fi-ish and, and a bit on the maybe artificially warm and heavy side but then you've got like the spectral together with the MIT which is really fantastic good combination even though I generally don't like MIT and and yeah you have a very spacious room um, so this could be a very interesting sound in this room but what I would do is just put that tiny bit closer to the wall here and here and then put it closer to the back wall and then just have something, you know, ha have like some wooden boxes or something on the inside or really good uh, furniture so you don't have to um, create these re really long cable runs, which, yeah, generally aren't very good. Um, yeah, but very interesting, very interesting what they've done with this room. Here, very interesting. We have a, a very good sized room and we have spectral gear. We got the uh, giant MIT boxes, just good, really good. Got some good uh, vibration, what, what do you call it, uh, dampening thing going on in the room. Uh, yeah, interesting, very, very interesting indeed. That, that is well set up and, and I guess it's, it's Rockport or something like this, the speakers. Here, ATC, yeah. I mean, again, 
far away from the wall, you, you're going to have this hi-fi show sound that just, it will with time get on your nerves. It, it just can't really settle. It just go there's there's no mass close to the speakers absorbing the sound boosting the sound in a, in a natural way making it settle it's just going to go all over the place so ATC could sound interesting i haven't tried that combination but that's not so important. ATC makes some pretty okay speakers, uh, better than standard. But at, at least here, preamp on Spectral, so important. You have to have the preamp if you have Spectral. When you have Negra, you have to have the preamp when you have Negra. If you have Audio Note, you have to have the preamp. If you don't do that, you won't hear more than i don't know 20 percent of, of what it has to offer it, it it's a certain type of handshake certain type of language it has to speak that will only happen at, at the high levels when you have the same type of equipment that was intended for the application and and this cheap stuff in the background that's just an insult you know the never have a cheap cd player or streamer or um, whatever um on a on a on a really really good system you know um yeah just just bad taste but yeah here's the potential very good did some good dampening very good has has some pretty decent speakers yeah great here again was an audio i generally really dislike was an audio but with spectral equipment and when it's with the preamp good i i can i can live with it. it actually sounds pretty good but here this looks like a sony or a philips cd it's like no 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 <laughs> i mean this thing is gonna be bright harsh two-dimensional raw and it's just gonna create a hell of a lot of noise and then you're gonna move it over to some system a system that's that's just going to amplify that noise by 10 yeah it will sound cool it will do a lot of good stuff that uh, lower quality systems can't do but it's just come on man you know source material means so incredibly much especially at the top levels because at the top levels you are exposing all the flaws that are in a system and if you can't have a relatively good uh, source equipment and i'm not talking about vincent or macintosh or class a or pass labs no no when you're dealing with the best transistor equipment you have to have at least something like a spectral a negra a um, an audio note something like that they could have gotten away with an audio note CD2, very cheap uh, CD player, and would have it would have sound awesome on this, awesome, absolutely awesome, very very rel relatively cheap. I think you probably get that for like I don't know two thousand dollars used or I, I don't know what that costs, but that's that's a proper CD player, a proper warm developed organic CD player. Yeah, it's it's far from the CD3 and four and, and the bigger models, but I mean, this is just ah, oh, what 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 a pity, what a pity. But um, yeah, let's go on to the next one. Here, just want to show you, good system, just too much room to the to the walls. It's gonna be like, you know, this unsettled, not organic, not natural sound. Put those speakers close to the wall half a meter to the wall maybe a meter you can maybe stretch it to a meter to the back wall and the side walls and then have them relatively close to each other to keep the sound stage more together to, for it to make more sense if you separate the speakers too much this is about on, on the limit of what you can do but if you separate the speakers too much 
it will sound in bits and pieces and it, it just won't integrate and, and balance out fully. Now look at this. It's going to go back and show you something. These cables actually look pretty decent. I don't know exactly what we're dealing with here, but they look they, they look pretty good. MIT cables. Um, that's okay. When it's spectral, I'll forgive you for doing that because they're, they're designed for that purpose and you can hear it. That That's the only time I ever want to listen to spectral. No, wait. MIT cables, sorry. I only want to listen to MIT cables on Negra equipment or spectral. Everything else is just, just, just ugh, avoid it like the plague. Um, let me just show you what he did here. This is not good. This, a lot of people, I don't know, I don't know why this is happening, but a lot of people with money, they, I, they are buying a DCS CD player. And I have to tell you guys, this is some overrated equipment like Class A or Audio Flight. It's just not good. It's just not good. It does a lot of cool, impressive stuff, but it doesn't have the, the, the full class. This is not nearly as bad as the other guy with, with the basics, uh, basic Sony or Philips CD player, only costing a couple of hundred bucks uh, max. This is a thing that most likely will cost 20, 30, 40,000 um, US dollars, something in that area. I could get an audio note CD2 whooping this thing's ass for like two thousand dollars used seriously why would why would you consider use using this amount of money on this thing and this looks a bit like a, a vpi turntable it's like oh, again ah that that's doable you it, it's okay you you can make that work somehow i think it's vpi i'm not sure um just the dcs no 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 it's 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 really overrated equipment like class a and audio flight just just get rid of that save the money you could you could sell this and you could get a really good audio note duck for the same price and a really good CD player for the same price. It, isn't that insane? And you would improve the sound by at least three times. Um, really a pity, really a pity. And also these speakers, y, YG Acoustics, they're actually pretty decent. Just wanna see what... Uh, that's some messy room he's got there, but he must be some kind of a dealer, this guy. Man, he looks stinking rich. <laughs> ah, some people can do that. I admire that when people can, can do that. Um, oh, won't comment on that, but um, next one here. Yeah, again, Wilson with Spectral and MIT cables, yeah. It, it, it works pretty good and they found a pretty decent room yeah Th this is obviously going to sound cool nice vulgar very focused on on the raw detail and the information and um, yeah a lot of people are, are going to like that sound and it will promote mostly music that is very masculine so people that like Johnny Cash, Leonard Cohen, stuff like that music, they're absolutely going to love this type of thing. But if we go over to some, you know, some feminine music, Mariah Carey or Celine Dion or some bit awkward, um, what do you call it, Simon and Garfunkel music, it's just not quite going to do it. Um but uh, it's still going to sound pretty darn awesome. So yeah, very interesting. 
This is... I want to show this. This is horrible. Um, spectral with a lot of low class gear. Don't, don't, don't ever do what this guy ha has done has done here. Um, I would personally, if you're so crazy about the spectral, sell it. If you can't afford something that that will match it, just anywhere near that level, sell it. Sell all the rest of the gear. Sell it, and then settle with all of that money that you get back get something like an integrated pass labs mark levinson macintosh in in the higher end and then find some <clears throat> macintosh or whatever um, source material that, that 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 suits that type of sound yes it's worse equipment but most importantly it's the same type of sound maximizing its its potential running at maybe 40 50 percent this thing here this setup here is running at like five or ten percent um i've seen a lot of people do this i saw a lot i've visited a lot of friends they had a very expensive macintosh cd player or negra or m labs or playback design or uh, and they constantly were, were, were stuck on the fact that they got a really good deal, a uh, really good price offer. But, you know, if, if you're pairing it with stuff that doesn't speak the same language, get rid of it. Even though it's some really good high class equipment that you might not be able to get again, just get rid of it. Get get everything in the same uh, same same quality class. Just want to show you guys something. This is my level system at here we've got audio notes m10 m9 m8 preamplifiers this is a preamplifier grading system then we've got like um m6 which is like down here and then we've got the i can't even remember now do they have an m5 i think they have an m5 yeah and then we have the 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 m3 here and then sorry m3 here and then we have like the the m2 uh around here and probably the the m1 around here this is how good um audio note is they can keep all of their preamplifiers in this area and regular stuff um let's just call it out cyrus kenwood uh macintosh past labs uh mark levinson probably class a or something like that most preamps will stay in this quality area being really bad read i mean really really bad bad timing they would be raw they just won't work with a lot of gear i mean that they'll function but it will it will sound horrible then on top of that they will have their own distinct sound their own religion religion of sound sorry and you might have the best transistor um preamps here like um spectral and uh, negra and then probably brands like the Agostino and Griffin and and, 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 all, and all of those, you know, YBA here. That's how good transistor preamps get. It, it never gets past this point. And, and the norm is down here. And you might be aiming for like a, a Macintosh one that's 20,000, like 20K. Uh, Macintosh right there but <clears throat> notice this you can you can get like it like, like a 10 10k um, audio note m2 audio note m2 right here I mean I won't I won't be satisfied with that level uh, for me it's like m3 minimum or else I'm not touching a preamp. But the reason why I'm mentioning this is because a lot of people can only afford very cheap,
preamps and they usually stay in in this area and then they go for the expensive ones in this category here which costs like 10 20 30 40 okay and here we have like probably together with this macintosh we have like an xp 30 pass labs like a lot of people rave about that it's like whoa pass labs made a good good preamp you should try it oh and then maybe it's only like 10k if you live in the us don't think that that's anywhere near the the top it's of course a lot better than than the previous p10 and 20 models of course it is but it gets so much better uh, just by using an M2, which is like 10K. You can use M2 and M3 audio note preamps on basically all transistor gear. And they're compatible, they're, they're nice in sound, they're nice and warm, they fill out the, the holes. They, a, a lot of the bad stuff, a lot of the deceased sound from transistor uh, power amps and monoblocks power amps wow i'm really doing this great today <laughs> trans sister like that sorry a lot a lot of really half bad power amps uh monoblocks whatever you call them that are in the transistor gear let's say you have some of that and you want to go like oh i want to taste Oh, you know, I heard it's so good. I want to have a really good preamp. Listen, just listen to this. Good preamplifiers are almost non-existent on the market. I'm, I'm telling you, almost non-existent because of two reasons. They're built really badly and they have a very certain type of sound that is very difficult to combine. You could be lucky and use 10 or 20 years and stumble across something around this area if you spent many 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 years and you find a certain type of combination but i've seen friends all over the place not being able to do this even me myself who's very very good at, at pairing equipment i cannot do this and, and get a sound that has everything in it or close to everything i can om almost only get one two or three things out of 10 that are really good that are really really good and those are usually just big sound stage a lot of power good control or some kind of uh, an effect like like, like um uh, very good bass slam or something like that but overall the integration the balance the signature will suffer with most of these uh, transistor preamps stay away from uh, transistor preamps if it is possible almost always have a tube preamp that is good and specifically audio note and don't I, I wouldn't recommend m1 audio note that that's still okay gear but it's it's still around this Macintosh pass uh area here um, I wouldn't touch that. It M M2 audio note, especially the M2 signature, that is where good preamps start. And where they become really good and really start to take off. And when you really feel that like here is a lot of good sound that you can just explore for many years, then you sadly have to go up to the M3. And I have no idea what, what that costs. That probably 12 to 15 K, I'm guessing. And if you want the the um, M3 signature, I'm guessing it's like 20 K US dollars. You look it up, I could be wrong. It could be much more, it could be much less. This is like if I had to settle with the preamp for the rest of my life, M M3 signature, go and get that, okay? You can make that work with a top um, Negro system, a top Spectro system, Griffin D, Agostino and such. You could even make it work with 
Macintosh, Pass Labs, um, Class A Audio Flight, Mark Levinson, stuff like that. It might be a bit um, waste of money to try and use it on these down here because you it will make the sound a hell of a lot better, but th this will kind of um, not, I mean, the, the the potential that this gear has it would be a pity to use that on it even though it would improve the sound a hell of a lot but you know if, if you're in this range here go go for this if you're in this range here this lower range maybe go for an an, an m2 that, that that's perfect for these really um, cheap pieces of equipment regular gear i'm talking um Let's just say you have something like um, I'm 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 just uh, filing out some some random brands here that, that aren't very good with their um, power amplifiers. Um, I'm not sure Yamaha has some, but you know you know the regular cheap stuff that only costs like one two three four uh, thousand bucks. The, those things, you know. Um, one two. 5k us dollars those things here pair that with that and then when, when you have like macintosh pass labs uh classy mark levinson audio flight stuff like this if you have some monoblocks like that that could actually work pretty good with this but a lot better with this up here don't use this with the higher end audio note it will sound better but it will also tell you some of the um, the bad stuff that you don't want to hear here you know some of the stuff that they're trying to hide from you so that that's how preamps work very sophisticated i um i hope you guys can use this because preamps are like almost the most impossible thing to buy in in hi-fi to get a proper preamp that fully integrates and talks the same language with the monoblocks or power amplifiers or whatever you call it so this will really help you guys if you don't ever get to own any audio note equipment but can maybe choose one piece of equipment with your questionable transistor equipment go for an audio note preamp especially if it's a m2 or m3 they are what can i say they, they are they are a blessing they they are really a, a blessing it's like it's a bit like the isolate mini sub access power box it, it does a bigger difference than that a much bigger difference but it's just it's the glue that that keeps you interested in music that makes you want to rediscover everything that you've listened to it's the thing that that could make your shitty transistor gear actually sound pretty good you could go from a a a, a half bad uh two to one two three four five k um transistor power amp and where you're only using like 5 10 maybe 20 percent of its potential you could suddenly when putting this on it use perhaps 50 percent of its potential or when you or when you're using this here like 70 percent of, of its potential this here is really good stuff especially when you change the the standard tubes it gets even better um so that's one of the secrets that that's one of the things that you guys need to know that cuts through yeah sorry to say it a lot of the crap that's on the market Th this is the glue the missing part of what we need to use with a lot of the bad transistor gear on the market so i hope you guys can use this this is valuable information and how about you just comment on the video, give it a like. I'd like to hear from you guys and, and your experience. And yeah, have a nice day. Bye.